Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and this is my channel, Kristen Alyssa, and welcome to Kristen's DAT Survival Guide. Today we are going to be talking about the perceptual ability section. Perceptual ability. Yes, exciting stuff. Um, I kind of, I really liked perceptual ability because it was kind of like a mind break, even though it's not, it's like a lot of thinking, but it's just like, okay, I don't have to think about formulas or reading or how to calculate stuff. Like I can just look at pictures and figure out what is going on. <laughs> so before we get into study materials and how to study for it, don't forget to subscribe. I can't emphasize this enough. If you subscribe and turn on the notification bell, you will know exactly when the next video is up. So you can be the first to know, you can be on top of your DAT studying, and all will be well with the world. And you'll be supporting me. So thank you in advance for subscribing, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's get to it. Perceptual ability. Best study tools for the PAT. Crack the Dat is known for having an amazing, amazing, like, just, I don't know, test bank of perceptual ability questions. I wish I had known about it when I was studying for uh, the DAT. But, you know, I think I did know about it, but I just had enough resources already, so I didn't bother to, you know, look into it. But I have friends who used it and swore by it. They're like, oh yeah, Crack the Dat for PAT all the way. And they did great in those sections. And I actually use Crack the Dat to study for my boards exam, um, my national boards part one exam, which is a test you have to take when you're actually in dental school. And they also let me try out the uh, DAT Crack the Dat. And I really liked it. So, and I liked it so much to where they gave me a promotional code. And here it is. <laughs> I'll also leave it in the description box below. So if you do decide to um, use Crack the Dat, you can use this promotional code and get 10% off of your purchase because it ain't cheap. Speaking of it not being cheap, let's get into the prices. Crack the Dat has a sale going on right now. It's a 70% off sale, which is unheard of. Usually the prices are like 1500 or so dollars, which is about the same that you pay for a Kaplan um, testing, test prep course. Um, but now they're selling the whole DAT bundle with all the subjects for $3.99. Not $3.99. <laughs> no, $3.99, just to clarify. Um, but if you only want PAT, they are selling it for $199. So, you know, see what you want to do with that. I'm just here providing the info. If you do want a discount, again, use my promo code CHRIS31 and you'll be good to go with 10% off. The second resource I have, and the final resource, is again, DAT Bootcamp. Y'all called it, I bet y'all knew I was gonna say that because that's they. <laughs> um, so DAT Bootcamp, it, though it's not you know super known for its PAT section, it does have a really good PAT section. And like Crack the Dat, it has a generator. And so it's a generator meaning like, it's like an unlimited supply of questions. So like the angle rank, angle ranking, angle ranking, <laughs> angle ranking questions, there's like thousands, I feel. Like you will never repeat an angle ranking question. That's my point. And um, so DET Bootcamp again is $497 for not just PAT, but all six sections of the DET. So consider that too. So what worked for me in terms of studying for PAT? Perceptual ability was actually one of my better subjects, um, so I didn't feel the need to, you know, like really spend time doing a ton of practice tests and like like laboring uh, on it. But well, of course, like I've been saying, you want to rotate your um, subjects that you're studying and not just sub study only the hard subjects and then neglect the easy ones. Um, so I would use PAT as my study break. Yeah, it was pretty great. I would study at Starbucks, you know, study Gen Chem, which is, you know, harder for me, or um, uh, biology or quantitative reasoning, like go hard. But then when I wanted a break, I'd like sit back and get something to eat and then just do like angle ranking or like cube counting um, practice questions. And 
let my mind rest for a little bit <laughs> and just see how I did and see where I needed to improve. Um, there's also different, tons of different methods on how to go about studying for these sections. Um, I can't tell you, you know, what is the best method. You just have to like figure that out for yourself by reading articles. There's a lot of t really good articles on how to study for PET and um, I'm sure Crack the Dat has a lot of um, resources as well, as well as DUT Bootcamp. So just, you know, feel around. Everybody learns a little bit differently. And yeah, that is how I study for PET. Again, major, major key, major key. Don't neglect the easy subjects. And I say easy very lightly because none of them are actually easy but always rotate your subjects. Don't neglect any section. Don't you know go a day without thinking about or doing some questions from every section. You wanna keep your mind sharp and timing is key, especially with PAT. Um, so don't get, PAT is very easy to like lose track of time. Don't let that happen to you. Take practice uh, tests on Crack the Dat or DAT Bootcamp and keep your time down as much as possible. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed learning about how to study for the PAT. If you have any suggestions on how to also study for the PAT, please leave them down below. Let's you know share that. Other people can use that as a resource and we can all learn from each other and it'll be great. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll catch you guys next time.